Hello guys, welcome back. So uh, in this video we will try to mount a door and uh, we already have the frame prepared. This is a door from, from Hornbach, it's called Pertua, Pertura, Pertura I guess. I always mix this up and uh, I'm making this video because I was searching uh, a lot before buying these doors and there, there's absolutely no information or no relevant information, only some pictures and um, things like that, but nothing uh, that explains how these doors can be mounted. And um, actually, when we went to buy them, uh, we also uh, wanted to pay for installation, but it was very expensive. It was about uh, 80 or 90 euros per door and we have six doors so uh, finally we decided to uh, mount mount them by ourselves or by myself <laughs> and um, yeah in this video I will try to show you how to do it of course uh, you will need some tools for this, I already mounted five doors, so this is the last one, and hopefully uh, now we can um, we can give out some advice or at least show you how to do it. So we will open the bag, yeah, and for this thickness, we can use two biscuits for one side, two for the other. And of course we have some plastic plugs and the eccentrics. So we will put these aside for now. They also include some gray plugs. Probably if you buy a gray frame. So we will remove these um, plastic covers from the corners and okay let's start on this side it's really small space here but this is it so first thing to do we will uh, this is wood glue nothing special we will put some glue in this uh, channel right here, you see here we will put in the biscuits, okay, we can for sure put in here two biscuits on the narrower frame, you can cut a biscuit in two if needed. So I believe that's fine. Now we will uh, cover with glue this surface here. It's no problem if a little bit of glue gets outside or on the white part of the frame because it can be easily washed after that with a little bit of water. I think this is fine, we will put the glue aside for now, we will prepare this eccentric and two clamps, we have two, we also have a very white frame that had three clamps, so only two for this, and now we need to you can see it has the same grooves here, yeah. so we just need to join them together. Actually there is a little bit of glue here, let me just wipe it off. Yeah, okay. So this is the first part. And um, in order to make sure 
that the other side is level, we have to fix this a little bit together. So these eccentrics go inside these holes. I can feel here. That, well, this side is very nice. Here I think we're a little bit off level on the other side. We will just tighten this a little bit. Okay. So here we are fine. I'm just lifting it really carefully to see the other side. And actually it's a little bit off. So I will try to move them with my hands. I can feel it on the other side when it's good or not. And actually now I'm really satisfied. So really carefully, not place down the frame not to move it. And we will try now to put it together. So this time of clamps are made like this. So we only need to hammer them into place. Yeah, that's one. I will check again. And it didn't move, so yeah, we are fine. Maybe just a little bit. No. It's okay. So we will mount the second one. It's fine or not. Yeah, that's good. And we will do the same thing on the other side, okay? Okay, so actually this other side went a little bit harder, but now everything is fine. Everything is at level and we will leave it for, I don't know, maybe an hour. I think it's enough to partially, for the glue to partially harden. Okay, so the next step, I left it for about an hour to dry, yeah, but uh, you can mount it even after gluing. Why well, I did this? Because I had these uh, tools occupied on another door and uh, I'm using some tools from Volcraft. It's Volcraft door mounting pro set or something like that and this will make our life a lot easier because we don't have to use him uh, those uh, those wedges that some guys use and you hit one other one falls out and things like that okay so now we will set this to the width of the door and the easiest way to do it we will mount it here on the top side because we know that this distance is okay and it cannot be modified anymore so this is the distance we want through all the frame and I will put it some, let's say on the, kind of, of the middle of the frame, both sides like that, 
and uh, now this is loose so it has room to move and now we will fix we will fix this let me just turn them around okay we will fix this to the frame this fixes the whole uh, this whole thing to the frame and now we know we have the right distance here so we can tighten this knob and now we have the good distance to between the two sides and we will put one in the middle where the lock is yeah. we will fix this here okay and uh, we will do the same thing with another one of these these are all included in the set and this we will mount it on the where the lower hinges so we will need to turn around we will have the opening of the door on this side okay let's be careful and you can see that with this tool we can move it without problems. I should probably get this cardboard out. Let's see how we can do that. Ah, we will put it here and pull the cardboard out. So it should go inside the this hole. Let's see how we can get the cardboard out. Now the problem is, if we put the this decorative part here, like this, it will leave a gap on the outside. And this is a hallway, and I would prefer to leave the little gap on the inside, because nobody sees it there. It's, this is a closet or something like that, a storage space. Yeah, another thing we should do before uh, making that gap on the inside, there are some plastic thingies like this to put under the frame and this is because uh, this is a floating laminate floor and probably it will move a little bit according to the temperature changes and it's okay not to move the door it's better not to move the door so we will just lift a little bit the door from the floor and uh, we will fill that up with something silicone or something like that first thing we will center the door on the gap We have about the same gap all around. Yeah, seems like it seems fine to me. We will put this in under it. We should do this before we start leveling the frame. Okay, one more, that's it. So now I will fix the top, so it will not be a problem of the frame falling inside. So this is where these tools, this part of the tool comes in handy. So we will just pull it to the minimum 
and insert it, it, it will go inside the same, like those on the, it's the same locking mechanism. And we will lock it here in this channel. And now from this, we can, uh, we can set how much we want to pull the frame towards us or leave it to go inside. And of course we will have all the flame, uh, all the frame going to the inside. Yeah. And after that, by moving this, this has every all around the frame, all around these uh, fixing points, we can push and uh, move the frame according to our needs. And it will stay the way we put it. Okay, so now the frame is secure. I'm sure it will not fall. And uh, we just need to find the distance to move the frame inside a little bit. So just before going ahead, I wanted to show you this system. So this is the way if you rotate. Uh, okay, like this. So if you rotate this uh, screw here, you can adjust this piece. It goes to the wall, it can push the frame yeah, from the wall. You can push everything or when you are done, you just fix it a little bit and you do the same on the other side like this. Yeah, and this will keep the door frame from moving. Yeah, okay. Because I will change the orientation of the camera for this part. Now, what we need to do first, I want to check the top because almost every door I had to lift a little bit. One side, and this one is not different before I will start fixing everything. So, this side needs to go a little bit higher, and uh, I have some very thin plywood for this. Okay, and like this lets you know. Yes, we are we are golden now. This is okay. I will check it once again, don't worry. And I really advise you to get a big level like this for the other part because that one is not so precise on long distances and it's better to have a big one and the in the bottom should come a little bit more it's not bad just a little bit of adjustment needed Okay, so we have the spacers here fixed and actually this is the space I want to go. I want to be 100% sure that the other part will cover, that there will be no spaces left. And uh, if something seems crooked, it's not, it's, I'm using a wide lens because this is a very small space. So now we just want to check everything again. And uh, now what happens, the bottom part needs to come a little more inside. So we can go ahead and fix this part to the wall by screwing. And we will also fix it to the top. We will do the same on the other side because uh, both sides of the door frame need to come inside from the bottom so we 
we are fine with this. I will double check again. So I advise you to check three, four, five, six, ten times. You must be sure that everything is straight because once you form this up, then you're done. That's it. You will have to live with it like it is. The top is fine. Yeah. The bubble is on the middle. This. Let me just. Okay. So this orientation is also fine. As you can see. Here. Should be the same. Yes. The bubble on the middle. And these two sides are also like that. But I cannot show you with one hand. I cannot hold. Or, or, or maybe I can do it. Yes. So this is the right side. Fine. And you have to trust me on the left. Okay, so now we are ready for the fun part. We will use mounting foam. Yeah. I suggest you use a gun like this because you can control you can control the flow of the foam much better than with those simple ones with a straw. So we will start from the bottom. So like I was saying, do not use this foam. <laughs> I just ran out and uh, I still have one of these. I bought it for something else, but considering this is my last door and most of it is done, I will use this. I will try not to make a mess with it because you cannot control this and it will still flow after you do not pull this trigger anymore. So let's see. Maybe it will not be Hiroshima. Oh yeah. And you can hear even the sound is and it's not stopping. This is the problem. So I really recommend the other tool for this yeah, we will leave it here on the foil and uh, we will fill these holes up after after we remove the tools and everything is hardened I'm actually worried It will come here, so I have this wonderful tape that doesn't stick to anything. So I can use it here just to try to protect my tools. And I'm not feeling so this. This tape is it does stick to my hand. Okay, so this is it. We will leave the foam for two or three hours at least so it hardens and after that we will mount the the decorative part together put it on and after that we can hang the door uh, put on the handles and that's it yeah i think that will be tomorrow because now it's already late and uh, i guess tomorrow we will do everything else so just to show you why the from for the gun is better, look at this where we filled it up with the gun, we could control the foam very well and it didn't came out. Now look at this side where we used the straw one, yeah? 
So this is why it's better to do it with a gun that you can adjust. Yeah, but it's not problem for me because I will cut it down. I have the frame protected. Yeah, so look at this. We have our outer frame here and uh, the process is, like I told you, exactly the same as for the frame. So first we should try it on to see if it fits. Okay. We have a little bit of foam marks here, but they will clean up. Okay. So everything fits. What I would like to do now is to put a little bit of glue. Normally you sh it's okay because uh, the joint will be large. So you don't really need glue, but I will put a little bit just to be sure. We make sure that this goes in all the way. Yeah. And we can start gently And that's it. Here something is. You should check the distances. Now everything looks fine. I could put some clamps here, but it's not really necessary. Everything seems to be fine and uh, this will not move from here until the glue hardens. So, with a little bit of flash, we can see that actually it's, it's pretty good. So it's not, not that big of a distance. It's more the radius of the piece than the distance. Yeah, but it's it's because of this light here that we have a shadow. Okay, so this is the remaining gap, uh, which I like I told you, it's more from the radius of the, the piece than a gap. On this side, 
it's another story so this we knew that we will have the gap here like I told you before the frame is a little bit bigger than it should be but there is no frame between so there is no perfect frame for this wall thickness from these doors yeah probably from other Z or maybe custom ones but those are really expensive uh, we are satisfied with this so we will go ahead and mount the door before bringing the door lift I will try to set the hinges to the right distance and I found that on the other doors this two and a half millimeter Allen key is the right distance so let's see if it will be the case on this one also we just need to set the distance and we can tighten the hinge after that okay this is actually fine I will do the same on the bottom and I will bring the door okay so we are set now and uh, the distance is good down and also on the top actually I don't know uh, what's the deal with this door that we had to set the top hinge like this very close to the door and you can see the bottom one is a greater distance but now the door is uh, it's the same gap all over so we are fine now and actually I <laughs> I was afraid something moved here during installation but no we are straight on both uh, sides of the door frame yeah could be there is a little bit of error due to the camera but it's it's on the middle and yeah i don't know but it's fine now and uh, we will go on and mount the handle so let's do that okay so for mounting the handle uh, first we need to make the marks and we need a handle for that. What did I do? Oh, here it is. And uh, for the handle we also have a template. But this is, this is not good for these doors. So I had to modify it because there was... Uh, here are the hole marks that come from the handles manufacturer but actually we need the holes a little bit lower That's it. So we are done. We will check how the door is closing. Yeah, everything is fine. These are 
I will have to adjust this a little bit because they are not straight. Never mind, we will do that. So, guys, this is it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this was some help to you. And yeah, why not? If I don't think it's a really complicated procedure, you need some tools, of course. But uh, if you have a lot of doors to mount, then I'm pretty sure it's it's well worth it to do them by yourselves. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for the long video. We will see you on the next one. Bye bye.